today's video is going to be about um, some books that I would recommend for you guys um, who want to like expand your mind or kind of open up your mind, get into some different reading, different exploring, you know, kind of make you think um, uh, about certain things. And let's start out with some psychic books um, that can kind of get you started if you're a beginner or, um, you know, just interested in kind of opening up your sixth sense because in all truths um, every mammal and every kind of creature on this earth has a sixth sense. Oh, by the way, this is going to take a little bit, so I hope you guys aren't disappointed with the length of this video, um, but I'm going to try and kind of make it as fast as possible. Animals have a sixth sense. Um, dogs, cats, you know, your pets, they can sense when you're down, they can sense when you're angry, they can sense when you're happy, um, and they show their emotion through that. Um, so I think that's really, really cool. Okay, so the first psychic book that I would recommend for you guys is um, called You Are Psychic, The Art of Clairvoyant Reading and Healing by Deborah Lee Katz. Obviously, this is going to be backwards, but um, this is kind of the front of it. And this is what, this was the first book that really got me um, started into exploring like my psychic senses and so forth and if I can do it then I mean everyone else can so you can definitely do this um, just it takes a little practice um, the second book that I would recommend oh geez the second book I would recommend for you guys who are trying to look into the psychic phenomena or learning your psychic senses or whatever is the psychic workshop um, by Kim Chesney and it looks like this. And it says it's a complete program for fulfilling your spiritual potential. And what this does is it's kind of just like these books are pretty much like little workshops. You know, they tell you a meditation and a technique or something and to like meditate or to think of something specifically to kind of tap into your um, psychic senses. So that's a good book on that. Um, the next book is just um, a really easy guide to releasing and developing your psychic abilities. It's called The Psychic Development for Beginners by William W. Hewitt. It looks like that, and it's a really, really thin book. You know, it's a really, really quick and easy read. Um, and it pretty much states, like, everyone is psychic and how you can easily tap into that uh, part of your mind which I, I like. The next book um, I would recommend is Discover Your Psychic Type by um, Sherry Dillard. And this book is specifically talks about like the certain elements, you know, like water, air, fire, and earth. And everyone is kind of connected more to a certain type of element. And it has a little like test in here to kind of, if you don't know what your type is, um, you could take it and it tells you what your type is and how you can use specific meditations, specific thought processes, and visualization techniques to kind of eat more easily tap into, um, you know, your element and your psychic abilities that come easier. Because, you know, they say, you know, every psychic is different. Every psychic has um, a specific kind of more talented you know, specific task or thing that they do better than another. You know, someone may be better at speaking with um, deceased relatives. Someone else is better at hearing deceased relatives. Um, someone is better at seeing auras than another person. Um, you know, someone is better at connecting with um, nature um, elements and so forth. You know, everyone has kind of a, a better way and specific talent of doing something. So I really like this book because it helped me kind of discover my own, like, my own element and things that I can do to kind of help connect better at that. Um, the next book is really, really easy, thin, thin, thin book. Um, it's called How to See and Read Auras by Ted Anders, and it's really, really easy techniques and kind of like little few minute practices to kind of um, focus your eyes. It's like the rods and everything in like your eye and how physically it affects light and so forth, and it kind of describes that in this book, which I really, really liked. Next section of books that I'll be talking about are a few crystal books that I really recommend. Um, if you're into crystals, healing, um, 
you know, using rocks and so forth. I really, really like these books because they had like many um, methods of using crystals in a specific way or specific form. Um, so the first book I'd recommend is Crystal Energy, 150 Ways to Bring Success, Love, Health, and Harmony into Your Life by Mary Lambert. And um, it's a really thin book, like I said, you know, I really don't like spending so much time reading a thick, fat book. So um, this is really, really easy, and it has great pictures and stuff, and it just tells you, like, little everyday things to do with um, crystals that, you know, most beginner sets would have. The next crystal book that I would recommend is Scott, Scott Cunningham's um, Encyclopedia of Crystal, Gems, and Metal Magic. And I love this book. I'm in the middle of reading it right now, as you can see. Um, and it just has so many, like, connections. Um, it talks about the specific stone. It talks about the colors related to it. It talks about recep receptive and projective stones and so forth and different energies and how we can use it in, like, our everyday lives, which I really thought was interesting. Next section of books that I'm going to be talking about is about kind of healing um, books and kind of like chakra books and so forth and with your own energy, like how to work with your own energy. The first book I'm going to recommend is called Chakra Clearing, Awakening Your Spiritual Power to Know and Heal by Doreen Virtue. And it's like a little pocket book. I really, really like it. It's small and you can put it by your bed and kind of read, you know, like a page a night about like certain you know, techniques to clear your chakras and to kind of um, focus on your own energy. The next book I'm going to recommend is Earth, Air, Fire, and Water, More Techniques of Natural Magic by Scott Cunningham. Um, he has a really easy way of kind of getting into what he's talking about, and he doesn't use, like, lots of words and you know the pages are pretty like words and such are spread out so it kind of makes it feel like it's easier to read and it's a really really fast book and it just talks about each element's own magic you know water is specifically for this kind or you use air for sp this specific magic or you know it's it's not technically magic but it's using um the natural magic that we have on this planet, you know, the earth from nature, the trees, and so forth. When you go outside and, like, hug a tree, I know that sounds kind of funny, but when you hug a tree, there's no way that you can feel angry or upset because all of that natural energy just overwhelms you of being outside and just kind of cleanses your own energy from being inside a house really long or being inside stuck watching TV or being on the computer like me all the time. <laughs> Um, so I, I, I like, I recommend this book if you're into kind of, um, nature and you're kind of getting to know the different kinds of elements and so forth. Um, the next book that I thought was really, really interesting and caught my eye right away when I was at the bookstore was, um, Ancient Healing Techniques, A Course in Psychic and Spiritual Development by Douglas D. Long. And that looks like that. And, um, you know, as I said, they're not large books. They're really quick and fast, easy reads, um. And I don't know, like, I'm still in the middle of this one as well. Um, I tend to have a hard time, like, finishing a book all the way through before I find another one that's really exciting to, to get started into reading. And um, these just have, like, different kinds of, um, like, talks about the mind and the brain and the differences and similarities and ways to kind of tap into certain parts, like certain chakras and certain parts of your own being to be able to, like, heal yourself and heal other people. The next book I'm going to recommend is called New Chakra Healing, Activate Your 32 Energy Centers by Cindy Dale. And it's kind of a big book and um, like I said, you know, small, easy read. And uh, it just really focuses on um, the benefits of clearing your chakras and how each chakra is connected to like a certain physical organ in your body and how um, having like blocked chakras can lead to certain um, diseases and dysfunctions and unbalance in a person's life, which I think is really great because so many people are sometimes so stressed in life and they just think it's work or it's your kids or, you know, I have so many things to do in my life, but it's really, it really comes from, you know, within and finding the reasons 
what's blocking your energy flow to be able to be a happy and successful person in life. This book that I would recommend um, really, really caught my eye. I just like the design on it as well, and it's a hard-covered book, so it's going to be a little bit more pricey than the other books that I've did just mentioned um, but this one is called frequency the power of personal vibration and um, it's by Penny Pierce and it's just a great book on discussing um, the vibrations that we have in this world and everything has its own frequency and its own vibration and how if you have higher bright higher vibration that you are more happy in life and if you have a lower one you know you're not as happy and so forth and it just has a great easy way of kind of talking about, um, you know, emotions and thoughts and um, logic and so forth and how just the human, um, average human being thinks and kind of can relate to certain things in life, you know, um, easy ways to figure out what's kind of causing a certain frequency and just you know, gaining knowledge on something that's totally different and out there, it makes your brain and mind kind of think and um, open up new parts of your mind to explore what we can do here on this planet. The next section of books that I'll be talking about is um, ghosts and um, like paranormal findings and different kinds of forms of paranormal things, I guess you could say. The first book, which I absolutely, absolutely love, and if you're into the paranormal, ghosts, ghost hunting, or anything about um, finding out more information about this kind of realm or such, so forth, um, is A Guide to Poltergeist, Portals, Ectomist, and Spiritual Behavior, Ghost Worlds by Melbra Goodwin. And, um, I don't know if you can see that, but that looks like that. And it's not a very you know big book it's really really fast to read and each chapter talks about like ectoplasm and orbs and um, different kinds of spiritual behavior malevolent spirits what what an actual poltergeist is because so many people think a poltergeist is an actual spirit but technically it's a it's a form of energy that's created by um, maybe a deceased um, spirit or even a living person so I really, really recommend and love this book. I still, still go to it every day. Not every day, but I still go to it a lot um, just to kind of like read things and know about like, you know, shadow figures and ghost box and different equipment and stuff like that. Um, the next book I would recommend if you're trying to kind of capture ghosts or are into like hearing ghosts or so forth, different equipment to use um, is the one, 101 Ways to Find a Ghost um, by Melissa Martin Ellis. It looks like that and I just kind of recently got this at Barnes & Noble. Different ways to kind of view an apparition, capture a ghost, have evidence of the paranormal realm. So that was a really, really good book. The next book I would recommend for people who are entering this kind of sort of field, you know, it's not a joke. It's not a game. It's not sometimes, it can be sometimes dangerous. Um, there are definitely things to know and look for and to have techniques to be safe. So this book that I would recommend is called The Ghost Hunter Survival Guide, Protective Techniques for Encounters with the Paranormal by Michelle Belanger. Belanger. I don't know how to say that, but that's what that looks like. So, um, great, great ways to kind of talk about, you know, ways to protect yourself, keep yourself grounded, and so forth. So, I really, really recommend this book if you're kind of going into that field to kind of feel safe and know what you're dealing with. I hope that helped, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, like I said, I'm really sorry about the length of this video. I'm going to try and edit it out to make it shorter and so forth, but we will see. Okay, I'm going to end this now.